Upgrade to come here or a downgrade? The answer, upgrade. Why? Because even though now they enjoy in heaven very much, when they come back to this world, it's not going to be Yetzer Hara anymore. That's the most important thing. No more even inclination. No more desire. No more lies. No more Lashon Hara. No more fighting. No more greed for money. Nothing. No sicknesses. No divorce. No drugs issues. No rehabs. None of this nonsense. It's like Adam before he made the sin, which is higher than where they are right now. Yes. Take CDs before you leave, please. Yeah. Does the Torah say anything about the dreams where you wake up and you're completely immobilized and you can't even talk? It's like very terrifying. You wake up and you can't move at all. Sometimes when people wake up and they can't move, it's not a dream. It means that the soul is out of the body for a few seconds. That's why you can move. Because the body can only move in the soul. And it happens to me when I was 17 years old. I laid on my rug in my living room and I fell asleep. And then when I woke up, I was trying to speak and to move and I couldn't move. I am a young man, I couldn't move for a few seconds. I saw my mother, but I was actually a little bit above, out of my body and came right back into the body. And it happens to people. It's called out of body experience. It was proven already scientifically. People come out of the thing and come right back in. Sometimes it becomes an official death. That's it, no poles, no, no bread, no nothing. But still the person can come back into his body and is calling, is coming back to life. It's called clinical death. Or like I said, out of body experience. Yes. He asked this, I answered that already. The, either the most righteous body returns or the body the last body where the soul was before Tchiyat Ametim. Yes? How does a person know what he should massacre in this world? Oh, how does a person know his main purpose, what he has to fix? Because there's so many things to do. The answer is two ways to know. What is the most difficult mitzvah for you to keep? That's your main purpose. That's the main reason why Hashem put you here. And that's why it's the most difficult for you. For women, usually it's modesty, or you know, for some men it's to learn Torah or to give tzedakah. What's the hardest for you to do? That's what you have to put all your efforts to correct. And the other answer is what you have a special siata dishmaya from Hashem to do, that's what you have to do. Sometimes a person has special help from Hashem to pray in a shul, to be chazan, to read in a Torah, he doesn't make mistake. He sings beautifully. Everyone has tears in Yom Kippur when he prays. That's his tikkun in life. Sometimes a person slather cows, Shh, tons of blood, everyone faint, and he smoke a cigarette like nothing happened. Why? That's his job in life, to be shochet. Sometimes it has to be moel. What your main help from Hashem to do in life, that means Hashem is very interested that you're going to do what you do. So, you know, when I started to speak to people over 20 years ago, I started to speak to my friends before I made official lectures. I spoke to one guy who's dating a Goya for a while. All of a sudden he comes, you know, after what you told me, I just couldn't live with her anymore. He left her. I speak to my cousin, became Shomer Shabbat. I speak to this guy, okay, you know what, can we come to the Kiddush? Can we do this, can we do I saw Baruch Hashem is very high success. And I, I didn't know one tenth of a percent of what I know today after 20 years. But the little I knew was already working. And I started to convince all my friends not to go to the beach on Shabbat. Don't go. Go Sunday. No, but I said to you, I promise you, that slowly, slowly, all the groups started to break. Not everyone went. And people started to keep more mitzvot. And I started to realize I have this talent to do it. And since then, I did what I did, and Hashem helped me very much with that. The miracles, I can, have, I, I can tell you over a thousand clear divine miracles.